What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today is my three week anniversary of studying Japanese. So I want to go over a little bit of how I went and how the thing, like how everything went in general. Now I do feel that this is the first week that I made some really bad mistakes in language learning and I'm going to talk about those for a minute. Uh, first and foremost, if you remember last week, I was at 19 hours and two minutes total in my two weeks and I said I wanted to study for 10 hours and 58 minutes because I thought it'd be cool to hit 30 hours in three weeks. That was the first mistake. Setting unrealistic goals is not going to help anybody. And then had some stuff that I had to do. And once I didn't study for, you know, two or three hours on Monday to get ahead, it started just kind of just slowly building and slowly building. And then you feel bad about it. And then you just kind of end up, it just, it, that was a really bad idea. I should not have set such a stupid goal. Um, going forward, I'm probably not going to set any goals like that time-wise because I feel like that's a quick way to fail, especially unrealistic goals. Um, especially with as busy as I am, it's hard to say to study almost two hours a day. Um, so that was kind of the first mistake. Um, and then once I started getting behind, instead of trying to make up, I kind of, it's just like everything overwhelmed me. Now, I still did study this week. I actually studied a pretty decent amount, just not kind of where I should have been for the week. And I think it all stemmed from setting a super, super bad goal. Um, because at the end of the day, I don't really have any specific time frame that I need to, um, or that I want to be conversational, so to speak. Um, I said within a year, and by within a year, I mean literally a calendar year, not in six months, or which would be awesome, but I'm not saying that that is even feasible. But within a year, I would like to be upper beginner to lower intermediate. I think being like an A2, B1 would be fantastic, or at least to me. So, but anyway, let's get into what I did this 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 week. Uh, as you know, Lingo Deer is my number one source of study, and this week is the lowest that I've had by far, and that is two hours and 52 minutes. Um, I just did not get around to studying as much this week as I wanted to, um, and so that kind of... Uh, really didn't help there. Um, I got behind and I'm struggling with a couple things that I need questions uh, answered on. Like, I don't understand. Like, for example, sometimes with adjectives, you conjugate the adjectives, but then other times you conjugate the verb. And I don't fully understand that. Like, uh, like the word for cool is sushi. And so sometimes you say, like, if something in the past was not cool, you would say sushi uh, kunakata. But then sometimes you say Suzushi Dewa Arima Sindeshita, and I don't really understand that. And I need to ask my Italki teacher. Um, but that's kind of the other thing. I didn't get around to uh, having a lesson through Italki. I just this week was super super busy for me. So, but uh, yeah, there's still some things that I'm confused on, and I need to kind of work towards that. And hopefully, I can get there. I'm gonna ask some questions because I feel like it's something really simple that I'm just missing. Uh, and Lingo Deer, that's the one drawback that Duolingo has is there's not like a discussion for sentences for the community to be like, oh, this is why this is this way or whatever. Um, I still prefer the program over Duolingo, but that's one thing that I do miss. Uh, and if anybody out there speaks Japanese, feel free to leave me examples down below. Um, and I'm thinking it has to be has to do something with the way that the sentence is structured because I feel like, I guess, cool, if you're describing like it's a cool winter, like cool is... An adjective but if you're saying it was cold I don't know I don't know I, I don't I don't understand it so and that's fine I'm, I'm working through it so memorize I used for an hour and 20 minutes and I've actually got a new approach to memorize which I'm actually gonna make a separate video about because I feel like there's a way more efficient way to use memorize uh, that I recently figured out uh, especially just involving the SRS method and stuff uh, which I'll make a video on that but an hour and 20 minutes so that's uh, that's not too too bad Kana drill, uh, I did not do near as much. I did Kana drill, which is where I study my katakana and hiragana, hiragana for 20 minutes, but a lot of practice from this came through, uh, not that I didn't calculate. I watched a bunch of Japanese videos this week, and I didn't include that in my study, um, but I probably watched about four hours worth of Japanese wrestling, so as they were introducing people, I would see it on the screen or anything like that, and so I, I didn't count that in studying, but I did do a lot of extracurricular immersion that probably helped that I didn't calculate. Um, and then for kanji, I actually found a site called Wanikani, which apparently is huge, and I just somehow missed it, and I used it for an hour, um, roughly. It's kind of hard to calculate that exactly, but um, I started the time 
and then and, and, and it was an hour and you only study for like three or four minutes at a time but I did that like 20 times so that's kind of where I'm at with that one it kind of was an hour and I've learned a couple things I've learned some of the radicals and I'm slowly building I've not progressed to level one past level one yet but it's a very 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 slow process so if you add all that together not including the YouTube watching time the lingo deer the memorize the kind of drill and the one iconic that is five hours and 33 minutes which is less than an hour a day which is less than what I was doing and that's far down from my previous weeks. First week was 10 hours and 4 minutes. Second week was 8 hours and 58 minutes. This week was 5 hours and 33 minutes. But my total time for the three weeks is 24 hours and 35 minutes. And that's kind of the other thing. In three weeks, I have spent an entire day studying. That's kind of crazy. So really, like, the 30 hours doesn't, like, the fact that I see that, that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, in itself is seeing that. So uh, this week, I don't have any set goals. I don't have a time goal. I just want to study and I just want to have fun. That's what this is all about. So I'm not setting any unrealistic goals. Um, total time in lingo during the three uh, weeks is 13 hours and 22 minutes. I did jot that down just for the sake of seeing how much I had used it. Um, Plus, it's easier to calculate your time that way. So that is this week. Uh, next week for the one month... Uh, kind of where I'm at. I will probably do a little bit of time updates and I'll probably make a video uh, speaking a little bit Japanese. I'm, I'm for the most part pretty comfortable um, with what I know because I am taking it slow. I'm not throwing a ton of vocabulary in. I probably right now know three, maybe 300 vocabulary words, maybe a little bit more than that, depending on some stuff that I don't have like in like memorize or anything like that, like konnichiwa and kanbanwanya, 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 kanbanwa. I can't even say it right now. Uh, and then like, Oyasumi Nasei and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of stuff that I know that I just don't have in cards. So I, I would calculate around 300-ish words, maybe a little bit more. And so next week, I'll probably speak some random stuff. And it won't be anything cool, but it might be, um, you know, whatever miscellaneous thing. Um, uh, Kore wa Hondas. This is a book random stuff man right uh but that's where you start so but that is the three week update next week will be the four week and we will go from there so uh if you guys have any tips feel free to leave them down below this week i do plan on trying to hit a couple of italki lessons i think i'm going to be slowing down a little bit this week with some stuff that i've had going on and so everything should be good so i'm going to end the video here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video